Hey, what is up guys? Apple Advanced here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to download GBA for iOS back again on our iOS 10 Beta 3 or lower device. So meaning you can be on iOS 10 Beta 2, iOS 10 Beta 1, iOS 9.3.3 or lower. Um, remember guys, if this tutorial does work for you, don't forget to drop that thumbs up down below. You know, it's always appreciative. And remember, if this video was a little bit old, maybe like two weeks ago, and it doesn't work for you, it's most likely just not a working method anymore. So, um, you know, there's no point of commenting down below. It doesn't work anymore because it's an old video and I really don't go back and update my new videos. Um, that's why I always tell people um, to just check out my new videos, recommended, you know, stuff like that. So if you're watching a old video of mine, like let's say you're watching this old video and about two weeks after it was uploaded, well, check out my channel. Go ahead and look on my channel and see if I have any recent methods on GBA for iOS um, because obviously I don't go back and update these videos but anyways guys uh, let's begin with today's tutorial so it's actually quite easy to do this method the link to the site will be in the description below it's iInstaller you just want to go ahead and press download and once you're on iInstaller once you click download then it'll come with a prompt asking you would you like to install or not now you may be on a parents or guardians device and this application will ask you to put in the password now I don't know if you you're allowed to or not but I recommend asking for permission it's a trusted site but you just have to have um, your actual password installed onto it but once you put in your password um, then you just want to click install go ahead and go through the process and this little app should pop up on your screen now go ahead and click on that app and here's where some people might get stuck at you see in the app um, it'll just keep loading but what it's saying is click the top left corner of the GUI. Basically click the top left corner of your screen right where the black bar is. And just once you click it, it's going to come with another thing saying apps, IGBU, coming soon, coming soon, settings, and about. Just click apps. And once you're on apps, go ahead and click install application. The very first one, which is the A looking logo, is going to come with the prompt asking you would you like to install or not. Now here's another thing. Um, sometimes this does not work just because internet speeds and such. Um, sometimes it'll get stuck on waiting. That's another problem I realize. Um, even if this is a working method, sometimes certain devices just have problems downloading it. Especially if you're on an iOS 10 beta device, you may run into a couple problems, especially with GB for iOS, because the iOS 10 betas aren't fully optimized for gaming yet and there that's why you know it's not always recommended to download the betas um and that's why i always tell people to always jump down from the betas back to ios 9.3.3 because i don't know if you guys are subscribed to my channel but i make a lot of videos showing you how to download like these emulators on your ios 9 and 10 iOS 10 beta 1 devices and the reason for this is because iOS 10 beta 1 actually uses the day trick and that day trick is used for tons of emulators these days and and because it's used for so many emulators you know it's the most used and common method to get emulators back and with iOS 10 beta 2 or iOS 10 beta 3 they get rid of the date trick and therefore it's harder to get emulators without having like a build store account but I am doing a giveaway for my subscribers for 1000 subscribers I'm having a giveaway right now so there should be something that pops up on your screen telling you you know I'm doing a giveaway or whatever go ahead and click on that go ahead and enter that giveaway and one lucky winner will be given one free build store account we will be getting contact on Twitter. So um, basically from here, if it says waiting, you just want to restart your device. Um, for me, I'm just going to come back with you guys once it install installs, and I can give you guys further instructions from there. So guys, I'm back, and it installed, and um, it should look like this on your screen. Now when you click on it, it's going to say Untrusted Enterprise Developer. Okay, just go ahead and click Cancel and go to Settings. When you're on settings, go to general, scroll down all the way until you can find profiles and device management. Then scroll down from there until you can find enterprise apps section. Go ahead and click on this one and then click trust. It's going to come with a prompt, would you like to trust it or not? Go ahead and click trust. And that's it. You have access to your favorite Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance games. But, you know, there's one other step, and that's installing games. But there's tons of videos out there. If you want any help, just ask me in the comment section what I sure sub. And I'll basically be like, maybe like, uh, search up GBA for iOS, how to download ROMs. But um, if you guys have any further questions about, you know, how to download ROMs and stuff, just ask me in the comment section. I'll be... 
I would love to help you guys. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop that thumbs up down below. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so right now. This has been Apple Advanced, and see you guys.